Good morning, folks. We've got a number of items to hit today. Space weather, far side helioseismology, an earthquake, a big storm threat this evening, a good solar forcing paper, and one I missed a few months ago on solar heart impact. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star and we find the sun was very quiet. No big flares, smaller peripheral eruptions, and the coronal hole stream we expected to impact Earth is doing so very weakly here this morning. No geomagnetic impacts of significance. We not only have several plasma filaments and a few active regions to keep monitoring today, but we can expect the high sunspot count to continue here over the coming week or two. The helioseismic rendering of the solar far side shows several active regions of considerable size back there on the other side of the sun. In the yellow section, those would be the dark patches. Sunspots aren't going anywhere. Top seismic event of the last day struck Japan earlier this morning, but was a blood echo down at the low velocity zone where the crust meets the mantle. Hopefully we don't get something more from that one. Big alert tonight in the southeast as the convective atmospheric potential energy forecast shows high chance of severe weather at the red zone and would be spreading eastward from there. Definitely have eyes open in that region tonight. Up next, we have an excellent paper fortifying the known impact of solar and geomagnetic activity on global zonal winds. It's not the first time we've seen the correlation described in a paper, but the more confirmations we get and the higher detail analysis here allow us to finally begin to decompose the relationship. Lastly, folks, after one of her colleagues began using my textbook in his class last year, one of these authors began reading it and emailed me yesterday morning asking if I had missed this one. Indeed, I had. Obviously, the book came out before it was published, but I didn't even get it in the morning show. Confirmation, yet again, that heart rate is impacted by geomagnetic activity, which goes along with the previous studies on heart rate modulation by the sun and solar storms. Got a link below to our major interview from yesterday. Check it out and leave a comment if you missed it. It's a good one. And of course, if you still need to get tickets for our June 24th event at Observer Ranch here in Colorado, the link for that is below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.